We are calling this cataract looks like a posterior polar cataract. So I am taking all the precautions that may be taken in posterior polar cataract surgery. By this time the main incision has been made. I am going to stain the anterior capsule so that capsular axis can be demonstrated nicely. The dye is washed out with bases and now hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose 2% is injected into the anterior chamber and the antechamber is filled up with this viscoelastic substance. And now A side port on the left side is made. Now capsular axis is to be done. The anti-capsule is incised with a 26 gauge bent cystitome. Now I take a uterata forceps and gradually I make A continuous curvilinear capsular axis. And now, hydrodissection. Should it be done? My assistant gave me this thing for hydrodissection, but I stopped. I didn't do hydrodissection. Rather, I asked for a uh, iris spatula for hydro free dissection and very comfortably you can do a hydro free dissection like this through the main incision through this side port this hydro free dissection can be done up to the equator and this facilitates surgery a lot visco is injected again and now hydro delineation can be done so yes I've done a bit of hydro delineation and now as if hydro dissection has not been done I'm going to do the case in that way So I go into the anterior chamber. The tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber and I bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, hold the nucleus very firmly and make a chop like this. And now I make another chop at 3 o'clock and this free nuclear fragment is emulsified. You can see the demarcation line of hydro delineation at this time. This is another chop from towards 7 o'clock and this free nuclear fragment is attempted to remove this is another chop natural hydro has occurred and the nuclear mass is rotating and I'm comfortably emulsifying the nucleus FECO power used in this case is 60%, flow rate was 45 and vacuum was 450 millimeter of mercury. And you see that the posterior capsule is intact, so it was not a posterior polar cataract, it was actually a posterior subcapsular cataract. So I don't have to worry now. just 
removing the cortex at this moment going through the left side port and removing the cortex from from the rest of the cortex and going through the right side port and the sub incisional cortex is removed now we can see some lens fibers are sticking to the posterior capsule just near the nine o'clock limbus so this is hydro polish just use the jet of irrigating fluid and dislodge these cells and with this maneuver you can polish the posterior capsule very nicely I learned this from my guru Dr. Shuhash Haldipurkar and from my friend Dr. Sri Ganesh of Netrodhama Super Speciality Hospital at Bangalore. Now in this case I selected a multi-piece intraocular lens for implantation of that I increased the main incision little bit so the 2.8 millimeter incision becomes about 3 millimeter. Now see how to load the sensor multi-piece intraocular lens. Take the lens, go from behind and engage the two edges of the lens in the groove. The two cantilever like thing just behind that the lens should be engaged. Push the lens to this much distance, place your Mac versions over it and fold the lens. And now place the lens in the cartridge. Place the lens in the injector. And now the trick is go into the entry chamber. And now you screw clockwise and as soon as the optic or the haptic tends to come out you rotate the cartridge anti-clockwise yes screw clockwise rotate the cartridge anti-clockwise and the lens will come out nicely now hold the trailing haptic with the Macpherson's forceps and place it in the capsular bag now you can see some white flaky material sticking to the posterior surface of the intraocular lens so what I do is I take the Simco go behind the eye well and irrigate VSS through the aspirating port yes just instead of aspirating I am irrigating so there is double irrigation and with this the visco in the bag comes out and the posterior sub surface of the lens becomes very clean and now the anterior surface is also polished anterior surface of the lens is cleaned nicely And now, this is the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. Some more irrigation of the antechamber and the capsular bag. This is for thorough removal of viscoelastic substance. And now I take the aspirating probe also use both irrigation and aspiration together and thus all the viscoelastic substance that has been used for implantation of the intraocular lens comes out this is little bit of moxifloxacin and now the side ports are hydrated so that these wounds become watertight And now, 
the final lavage of the antechamber is done and the antechamber is formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills lot of tips has been shared in this video